Hello, Christ is in our midst. I'm Father Kevin Long of St. Elias, St. Eric and Orthodox Church in Newcastle, Pennsylvania. Today is Friday, June, June 3rd, 2022, and here are the readings for today. The first reading is from the Acts of the Apostles, chapter 19, verses 1 through 8. In those days, while Apollos was at Corinth, Paul passed through the upper country and came to Ephesus. There he found some disciples, and he said to them, Did you receive the Holy Spirit when you believed? And they said, No, we've never even heard that there is a Holy Spirit. And he said, into what then were you baptized? And they said, into John's, bapti- into John's baptism. And Paul said, John baptized with the baptism of repentance, telling the people to believe in the one who was to come after him, that is Jesus. And hearing this, they were baptized in the name of the Lord Jesus. And when Paul had laid his hands upon them, the Holy Spirit came on them, and they spoke with tongues and prophesied. And there were about twelve of them in all. And he entered the synagogue, and for three months spoke boldly, arguing and pleading about the kingdom of God. And today's gospel reading is from the gospel of St. John, chapter 14, verses 1 through 11. The Lord said to his disciples, Let not your hearts be troubled. Believe in God. Believe also in me. In my Father's house there are many rooms. If it were not so, would I have told you that I go to prepare a place for you? And when I go and prepare a place for you, I will come again and will take you to myself, that where I am you may be also, and you know the way where I am going. Thomas said to him, Lord, we do not know where you are going. How can we know the way? Jesus said to him, I am the way and the truth and the life. No one comes to the Father but by me. If you had known me, you would have known my Father also. Henceforth, you know him and have seen him. Philip said to him, Lord, show us the Father and we will be satisfied. Jesus said to him, Have I been with you so long, and yet you do not know me, Philip? He who has seen me has seen the Father. How can you say, Show us the Father? Do you not believe that I am in the Father, and the Father in me? The words that I say to you I do not speak of my own authority, but the Father who dwells in me does his works. Believe me that I am in the Father, and the Father in me. Glory to thee, our God. Glory to thee. In the Christian tradition, it is understood that God is triune, that God is Father, Son, Holy Spirit. Each one of these three are God, not separate, but yet they are distinct persons. It's a very complicated concept to understand. It involves a lot of philosophical apparatus Apparatus, and it requires some degree of, well, the ability to have, imagination is a difficult word, but you have to be able to think beyond what we normally experience in our lives. And so imagination does sort of play into that. But in today's readings, we see examples in all three cases. So the first is the gospel where our Lord speaks about his relationship to the Father, And him saying, I am the way, the truth, and the life, no one gets to the Father but through me, is meant to indicate a couple of things. The first is that our Lord, completely and to utter satisfaction of the Father, completes the will of the Father. The Father sent him for specific tasks. He completed all of those tasks par excellence not because he had to, not because he was forced to, but because he wanted to. Which, of course, plays into our understanding of how we are to love God also. We are not to feel compelled. We are not to be forced. Brute force never works under any circumstance. But our Lord, through his love for us, shows us the way. And we follow out of love, not out of fear or out of compulsion. And so this relationship between the Father and the Son is very clearly established in today's Gospel reading. He says later, Anyone who has seen me has seen the Father. And then he says, The words that I say to you I do not speak of my own authority, but the Father who dwells in me does his works. Believe me that I am in the Father, and the Father in me. This perfect relationship of love. Agape, self-emptying, of the Father to the Son, and the Son to the Father. So there we have a very strong binary understanding 
of how things are. We have one of the father and of the son, so the two make a binary relationship. So if we were binitarians, we could stop there, but we are not. We are trinitarians. And so what do we see there? Paul's encounter with those in Ephesus, understanding that they had indeed been baptized, but not with the baptism that they were supposed to have. They were baptized with John's baptism, which is for the forgiveness of sins, but they are to be baptized in the name of our Lord. As our Lord says, baptized in the name of the Trinity, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. And then once that is done, they actually receive the gifts of the Holy Spirit. And so there we are. They say, we have never even heard that there is a Holy Spirit. And then John says to baptize them. And once they were baptized in the name of the Lord Jesus, he lays his hands on them and the Holy Spirit comes to them. And they speak with tongues and they prophesy. And so they are given these great charismatic, these great spiritual gifts to go and accomplish the tasks that they are called to do. And in a way of love, and in a way of mercy, in a way of being in God, in that way that was described in terms of the relationship between the Father and the Son. Now they, these disciples in Ephesus, go and do the same thing out of the love and mercy and compassion that they have in their own baptisms and their own abilities to serve God. And that is where we are. We are in this generation. The same persists. We are to love God with everything we have. But again, not out of fear, not out of compulsion, but out of love and out of mercy. If we embody those things, we will know peace. If we embody the other, all we will know is strife. And may the Lord bless and keep you today and always. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, one God, amen. Thank you very much for joining me today. I pray you have a great day, and God willing, we'll see you tomorrow.